Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host here. That is right. It is Team Rai Rai. How is everyone doing on this Thursday's edition? I am doing marvelous. Everyone out there, I have social media comments, but don't worry. I'll discuss it later on in this video. Thank you very much for understanding. Now, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab something to drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. It will be strictly a link. You can read it or just watch the video down below. Okay. Now, listen to this. I'll try my best to explain. Drew McIntyre recently appeared on W The Bump where he covered a lot of topics. I'm just going to say that. In the interview, McIntyre suggests that the fans should tag Triple H on social media if they want to bring his iconic Broken Dream theme song, make it a comeback on a regular basics. I'm not, I know I'm not saying that last part right. You know, you get the joke. The last time he used it was at the W class of the castle of 2022. Now, why in the hell he's not using it st still? In just that one moment. Is it because it was his home turf? That's not right. And then you really think the fans are actually going to tag Triple H? Do you think? True Boy is actually going to listen to the fans. He might. You know? If it works, bravo. If it doesn't, oh well. I guarantee he's going to use this song at WrestleMania. Just for that one night. And then after that, he's going to go back to the original theme. I like McIntyre. He has his ups and downs. Now, he will get revenge and rematch on Seth Rollins, this time at WrestleMania 40. Okay? I want a new champion. Okay? I love Seth, but he needs to drop it. And I know a lot of Seth Rollins fans No, Seth Rollins is going to walk in the WrestleMania and walk out as the champion. Hey, we'll find out what's going to happen. And plus... There's a huge wild card, and it is Senor Damian Priest. He's still Mr. Money and Bank. So that is a huge a monkey wrench in this title match, you know? He might cash in at WrestleMania, or I don't know when he's going to cash in, you know? I know he's tired of holding a damn briefcase. Would you be tired of it? I would if I was Damian Priest. I don't know what the hell is W thinking. I guess they want to find a good opportunity to cash in. And, um, now, this is my early prediction. If Drew McIntyre dethrones Seth, if it happens, then the next night on Raw, McIntyre open up the show and say that um, who's will be the next challenger for my new belt? I just won that mania on night one or night two. It don't matter. But it's a great um fight. Of course, he's not going to give any credit to his opponent, Seth. He's going to bash him like he did it with CM Punk and other stuff. Now, speaking of CM Punk, he returns the night after WrestleMania. No one was in expecting it. And another thing is, he don't have a no um, brace on. And the place went bananas. And McIntyre looked like he saw a ghost. So it looked like we will get this match in the fall sometime. Yes, I know nothing's confirmed, but I'm just making an early, early prediction. And that would be a very, very interesting feud. Because look what happened before. Um, actually, Punk was hurt, but Punk can't do nothing because 
he just had surgery or in that time frame. So hopefully they'll be make this happening. But probably I'm wrong. And then they will duke it out. And then McIntyre will beat Punk. Punk will beat McIntyre. And then the final match, it will be for McIntyre's title. And then CM Punk will become champion if he don't get hurt again. I'm not bashing Punk, but, you know, things happen with Punk. It sucks. But I love the Cetus, you know, all good stuff. And I really think that McIntyre is doing a very good job as the heel character. Better than he did it last time as a heel. So, all that good stuff. And I could be totally wrong in this situation. Probably I am, you know. This company is so predictable sometimes, you know. And another thing is, you know what really ruins this company or any wrestling company? you darn right. The flipping internet. So, this is not no spoiler at all. And I'm not going to say a, a prediction like Paul Heyman. This is just um, my theory or however you think I'm saying. So, you know, we'll see what's going to happen. It'd be nice if Punk returns and be cleared after WrestleMania. Then you could have a very decent feud. With McIntyre going into the fall season, you know, you know, we'll see. I don't know if WWE is going to plan that or not. Probably not. Everyone out there, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. If you want to be part of the Rob Show, that's fine and dandy. If not, don't worry about it. And I'll see you guys tonight sometime. Peace out and take care, everyone.